Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share some of my makeup favorites with you guys. Um, it are old favorite, favorites as well as new favorites. So I'd like to start with some of my old favorites. Without these products my makeup routine just isn't complete and it doesn't feel right if I don't use these products. And one of them is the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Bases. So it's this product right here. It's really inexpensive too. I use it every day for my eyeshadow and my eyeshadow stays on great throughout the day. It doesn't matter if it's hot outside or if my eyes get a bit greasy. Um, my eyeshadow just doesn't crease when I use this eyeshadow base. Next for eyes, one of my all-time favorites is the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. It's the best eyeliner I've ever tried and used. It goes on really nicely. Um, it dries down in a matte which I really like. I don't like the black shiny eyeliners um, and it, it, it doesn't crumble, it doesn't dry, it doesn't crack I mean it doesn't dry out so um, I love it. I've used it for about two or three years now uh, pretty much every day to make my winged liner and I uh, wouldn't use another product for it and one last favorite uh, from Essence which is eye makeup related this is the long lasting Kyle Pastel Pastel? What? This is the long lasting eye pencil from Essence in 01 Black Fever. It's a really nice black eye pencil. I use it to tight line every day and I also use it on my bottom waterline someday, but I don't like that heavy look of eyeliner everywhere each day. For eyebrows, I don't really do much because I, uh, I'm low maintenance with my eyebrows. I just can't be bothered to make those perfect insta brows and I can do them anyway. So I just use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I've used this before when my hair was blonde, so I used it in taupe. But right now I'm using it in auburn and it, um, it suits my hair pretty perfectly. Like it's a, it's a good color match. So I really like it, it's really easy to use and it's a really nice shade. So for face makeup I've got a few favorites as well. And we're going to start out with primers. I've got two here, which are uh, basically the same thing but from different brands. So we'll start with this one. This is the Master Prime from Maybelline and it's the anti-redness primer because I do get some redness around my nose and chin area. Um, it has gotten better with the right skincare but it's still there. Uh, it works nicely. I'm not sure if it really uh, counteracts the redness in my face that much but my makeup does stay on perfectly when I use the primer. Same with this one. This is a really cheap one from a store called Action in the Netherlands. It's really inexpensive and as you can see I'm loving it because this is uh, halfway done and this is my second bottle already. They also have a um, white colored one and a nude colored one from that line and with that one as well my makeup st stays on perfectly. If I take my makeup off in the evening my skin even looks good and hydrated after which I really enjoy. So some other eye makeup favorites of mine are uh, a mascara and a lash primer. So this is the lash primer that I've been loving. It's by Essence. It's called the Volume Booster. It's really inexpensive and it's just a typical white lash primer. And what I love about this one is that it smells great. It smells really fruity like mango and not sure what other scents but it just smells really nice. It also gives um, a really nice volume to your lashes. The only thing that I like a little bit less about this one is that it can leave a bit of a white cast on your eyeshadows eyeshadows on your eyelashes if you don't put enough um, black mascara over after using it. And the mascara that I've been loving lately is the Maybelline Less Sensational. This is truly one of my favorite mascaras. It makes my eyelashes really long and I don't feel like wearing falsies anymore because I feel like my eyelashes look ni nice defined and long with this mascara. So for concealer, I've tried a lot and um, I never really was into concealer until I find the one that worked for me, which is the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. As you can see, I've got three in three different shades and I enjoy them all. I use them under my eyes, I use them to correct a bit of redness around my nose and I'll also use them as an eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer from time to time. I think these are really... Um, nice coverage and they blend out well with the rest of my makeup so they don't disrupt my primer or my foundation or even powder if I put it on top of powder um, and they just last really well throughout the day. Right moving on to powder products I've got uh, a few blushes, highlights, contour, bronzer and setting powders and I'm going to start with my favorite setting powders. I've got one more product from Essence. 
This is the All About Matte Fixing Powder. It's just a white pressed powder that I use to fix my makeup. I don't put it all over the face, but I put it in uh, mainly the T-zone just to um, yeah, mattify the face a little bit. I don't like the dewy foundation look that much. Then I also love the Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel. As you can see, I've hit pan on this. And this isn't the first one I've hit pan on. I've repurchased this a few times before. I really like this if I want a um, no makeup day look. So I'll just take this powder with a big kabuki brush and brush it all over my face. And it just makes the skin a bit more even and smooth. So for contouring and bronzing, I don't own a shitload of products because I don't really like the look of contouring and bronzing on me. I feel like I have to take my time to make it look good. And if I'm just doing my makeup quickly, I don't even bother to do it. But when I do contour or blush, sorry, contour or bronzer, I use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I think this is a nice one for me. I can build it up to a um, higher coverage if I want to. And if I'm not really into the bronzy look, I can just put on a little bit like I did today. And as you can see, I've used it quite a bit already. This is the light one, by the way. You also have a um, darker one. And then for contouring, I like using the Atos Contour Powder in 001 Light Medium. And this is what that one looks like. It's a bit more deeper, so it's better to contour with. Moving on to blushes. I've got one blush that is my favorite at the moment. And it's one type of blush, but I do own more colors of it. And it's the Milani Rose powder rose blushes. They are not only absolutely gorgeous to look at, but they work really well for me. I really like this color. It's just a bit of a mauve pink, and this has a slight golden shimmer in it. Then I have this one, which is called Tea Rose. This is a bit more of an old rose color, which is also very pretty. And my absolute favorite one is this one, which is called Romantic Rose. And this is a bit more of a uh, darker blush color. And I really like this as an everyday blush. As you can see, I've used this the most because the rose pattern is starting to wear off a little bit in the center. So last but not least, I definitely want to show you my favorite highlighters. And as expected, Jeffree Star has to be in here. These are uh, really nice formulas, but only the um, first highlighters he created are really nice formulas. I also got some of the new ones, which are, for example, Uranus and Eclipse, which he did a collab on with uh, Manny MUA. But those are really chunky and have a lot of glitter fallout, which I'm not really into. So these are Peach Goddess and Ice Cold. And these are um, a few of his, of his first highlighters. And as you can see, you have Ice Gold, which is a icy white type color. This is really nice for pale skin people. And this one is a bit more deep, as you can see. This is Peach Goddess. And this leaves a really nice um, highlighted look to your cheeks. And it's not too much. But you can definitely build these up to be uh, very much, like, very prominent on your face. Another brand who really knows how to do highlighters is Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution is one of my favorite brands in general. And I love especially the Vivid Baked Highlighters. I've got one here, which is in pink lights. You have to like a um, pink highlight and a bit of a unusual highlight for um, this to be something for you, because this does leave a bit of a pink cast on your face. And then we have a golden light, which is a bit more of a safe shade. This is just a um, white with a gold shift to it. I'm going to end this video with my absolute favorite product of the past few months. And this is the Anastasia Amrezi highlight. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the formula. It applies really well to the cheeks. It is just so buttery and nice. And I've used it um, pretty much every day since I've got it. I've even considered even considered um, purchasing a backup of this one. But I've got so many highlighters that that would be a waste of money. But if you are looking for any highlight, just buy the Amrezi one because it's definitely worth it. So those are my favorite products of um, right now, and some have been my favorite products for a while now. If you like to see an updated favorites video in a few months to see if my taste has changed or if I've added something into my makeup routine, then please let me know down below, and I'll hope to see you in my next video. Bye!